All right, a little follow-up to the atomic trend of atomic radius video. Which of these atoms is smaller is the question. Now, if you recall what we talked about, the lower an atom is on the periodic table, the larger it will be. But as you move further to the right, the smaller the atoms get within each row. So, if we're comparing boron with oxygen, we will see that they're both in the second row of the periodic table. And oxygen is further to the right, therefore it is smaller. If we're comparing sodium and cesium, we'll see that they're both in the first column of the periodic table. Cesium is lower, meaning it's larger, and sodium is higher, meaning it is smaller. Chlorine and argon are both in the third row of the periodic table and argon is further to the right, so it is smaller. Between francium and rongenium, both in the seventh row of the periodic table, rongenium is farther to the right, and so it wins. And hydrogen versus helium are the only two elements in the first row. Helium, being further to the right, is smaller. Now I actually have a chart here where we can intercompare those two. Boron versus oxygen. Boron has a atomic radius of 88 picometers, according to this chart, and oxygen is 73 picometers. Oxygen is smaller, we were right. For comparing sodium and cesium, I've got sodium here at 186, and cesium would appear here below rubidium, but it's pretty clear that the atoms are getting larger as you go down the table. So we are right that sodium is smaller there. And finally, chlorine versus argon. Chlorine, oh, I, this thing doesn't show argon either, uh, probably because these are covalent radii, but what can you do? As you move farther to the right, it's pretty clear that the atomic radii are getting smaller as well, so we can expect that argon is smaller. All right, one thing I do want to point out is that I specifically didn't ask any confusing questions, like phosphorus versus bromine where we're changing both the row and the column. And that's because it is not the case that shell, the number of shells always outweighs the number of protons or whatever. There are some atoms in the second row that are bigger than some atoms in the third row. It's actually a balance between the number of shells and the number of protons in the center. In fact, if we compare phosphorus with bromine, one, being further to the left but higher, one being farther to the right and lower, they're actually really close in radius 110 versus 114. Phosphorus would have been smaller, but if I'd have picked silicon, it would have been the larger one and bromine would have been the smaller one. So it's very tough and I argue unfair for high school teachers, especially to be asking you to rank covalent or atomic radius when you're changing both the row and the column. But you're up against what you're up against, and I think these questions are reasonable, and I helped you answer them. Best of luck.